everyone. I'm leaving the grocery store. I'm sorry. I'm such a bad vlogger. I forgot to vlog while I was in the store. I feel so bad. It's like almost three o'clock in the morning and we went, we just got done grocery shopping. <laughs> I know we we're night owls. We stay up late. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to be on the vlogs yet? No. No. My hair looks freaking horrible right now. <laughs> You've been working all day. <sighs> yeah, plus it was freezing at first in the store, and then I had to change the thermostat up a little bit, and it got to be all muggy. Mm. <sighs> Hopefully, I'll remember next time I go to the grocery store, which will probably be like in a week and a half. I'll probably go back to the grocery store, but it won't be the one we went to, because the one we went to is like, what, 30, 40 minutes away from the house? Yeah, it's about... Yeah. So we'll probably just go to the little, little bitty um, H-E-B right down the street from my house so I can get some more groceries to stock up. You're going to hit the curb. Mm -hmm. You were about to. I've got chameleon eyes. I can look at two things at once. Mm. No, you can't. I saw that. What'd I do? Stuck your tongue out. <laughs> Good guess. <laughs> but, um, so I can stock up. So, I won't have to go to the grocery store while he's on his 10-day trip. Because he's my only means of transportation right now. But hopefully that will change before the year is over. Ooh, for rent. Honey, we can get a house. Hmm. We are, we're thinking about moving in with each other. Well, I am, but he's still like... 2% okay with it, 98%. Ooh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Although he was the one who recommended going around looking for apartments and houses. So that's a step in the right direction. <gasps> that would be so much fun to vlog our uh, living, like our hunt. That would be so much fun to vlog. Don't you think? I get excited about things easily. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm excited. They're building this new super, super H-E-B. Like, well, we're passing it right now. I don't, y'all won't be able to see it, though. So it's nighttime, and there's some cheese. But it's brand new. They haven't even opened it yet. They're still working on it. And we're passing a school. But it will be really cool. We won't have to drive all the way up to Pearland, which is like an hour away. It's about an hour? 45 minutes to an hour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about 45 minutes to an hour from our location. So we can just drive like 30 minutes to go to a Super HEB, which will be awesome. <laughs> Wait, what about driving 30 minutes to an HEB? We can go to this one instead of the Pearland one. Oh, yeah. Because this is going to be a Super HEB just like that one is. It is going to be? Yeah. And just like the Kroger they're about to build is supposed to be a Super Kroger like the one up in you know, Pearland as well. But I bet it won't be as big as the one in Pearland. Mm -hmm. I still want to go up to Pearland. Probably next month mm -hmm. uh, we can go up to that one. Here, get me a good one. Okay, hold on. He wants me to... Well, wow. So, get him a good thing, so... Let's see. Oh, it's gold. It's gold. Watch the road. I'm watching it. Ooh, Luke Cage. Awesome. <laughs> you turn your nose up at Luke Cage. <laughs> what? I've had him before. He's basically just a super strong, super <laughs> dense skin thug. Oh, okay. <laughs> Literally, he was a criminal before he became just like some kind of street fighter. Kind of like um, the Punisher? No, Punisher was a military guy. Oh. He was a special ops military like Marine Corps and all that. Oh. He did like Black Ops for 20 years. <laughs> kind of like Black Widow then because how she did illegal shit and then she, oh I'm well, sorry. <laughs> well, Black Widow was more of a spy and an assassin. Frank Castle was a soldier. Oh. I know a little bit. I know like probably. She quietly killed. He openly killed. Still openly kills. I know like 30% of all this stuff. He knows like 90%. 
he's now he's nowhere near an expert but he can carry on a very very detailed conversation and know what he's talking about with this stuff so <laughs> yay oh i'm tired hopefully within the next month or so i will have a new addition to my family a puppy oh what are you thinking well you didn't see if it was going to be a cat or a dog I have been saying I want a dog so I can get exercise. So oh, we, yeah, because dogs are going to be jumping around and. Uh, yeah, I can walk go. a dog. It's really awkward to walk, walk a cat. Okay, it can let's be go done. this way. Let's go this way, mittens. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. Dan's going to sit here and look myself. <laughs> Ew. But yeah, with a puppy, well, not a puppy because I don't want a puppy. I want a dog. You want a dog dog. Yeah that's already partially housebroken but um i'll be able to take them for walks get some exercise and play with them and have a companion hopefully it won't bark too much <laughs> that reminds me i have to talk to david about um the pet deposit yeah because i know since he doesn't like me he's gonna try to make me pay yeah he'll probably try to say oh it's around four or five hundred dollars <laughs> yeah, no it's probably like 50 bucks <laughs> probably but if he says that, then he needs to make uh, that other couple, I don't want to say their name since I'm vlogging right now, pay since they have three chihuahuas. <laughs> and then there's a lady in the front with two little boys that has uh, um, another dog. Um, what are those called? They do I dog know. races. Oh, um, Greyhound? Yeah. She has a miniature greyhound, and none of them pay pet rent nor pet deposit. So if that's the case, he needs to make them do that. Yeah, that's only fair. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if his uh, vacation time is worked properly, we'll be able to go on to a, go on a little vacation, which would be. What did you do? I had a shoelace caught in the door. Oh, which would be awesome because I've never technically truly gone on a vacation because I don't count coming from Fort Worth down to um, Galveston with my father and both my grandmothers for a weekend as a vacation where have y'all gone on vacation have y'all gone anywhere cool and where do y'all recommend going on a vacation? I know I want to go to Germany, Ireland, Scotland, Japan, Japan, and South Korea. Where do you want to go, honey? I want to go to, I, I do at least have Japan and Scotland on my list. You know, I'm, he doesn't want to be seen, so you're just going to hear his voice. So, okay, go. Just imagine I'm Batman. <laughs> He's Batman. So the camera's pointed at you? Yes. Okay. So I would say my, like, top five, if I don't have a top ten list, Japan, Scotland, England, well, basically mostly Great Britain, Scotland, Ireland, and... Uh, you want to go to the UK? The UK, basically. Yeah, so do I. So let's say the UK, for one. What? New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. The <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Maybe Norway, just because that's my uh, Viking ancestry. Mm hmm. <laughs> Go like a beer hall and have a horn helmet. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like stoic. Yep. Yeah, have a um, turkey leg in one hand and be getting into bar fight. Do your accent. Do your accent. Oh, the Scottish accent? Yeah. Okay. He in the whole, he's really, really good. He sounds like he could have come off the boat from Scotland for, and he's been in America for like a month but he's really good okay do it do it do it well if I have to do the Scottish accent then I probably will do it and it's not as thick as everybody thinks it is it's just I have to lay a little bit of culture onto it <laughs> and maybe I'm forcing it but I don't really think I am that part was yeah that was a good force <laughs> but if a true Scotsman had to lay it on a little thick then maybe he has to See, he's really good. <laughs> it's a shame I just wasn't the like a Viking Scottish Viking. 
Well, technically, with your Norwegian background, you are a Scottish Viking. Oh, that's what I mean. Uh, <laughs> to have a Viking axe in one hand and a Scottish Highland sword in the other. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but apparently, according to her, I do also better accents of other nationalities, too. Mm-hmm. Because I know how fair she likes it when I talk like a German. Well, I'm part German. Oh, I'm just a hodgepodge of a bunch of, bunch of different saying, things. Stings. Stings. <laughs> but my main backgrounds are German, Irish, and Scottish. And the Fräulein Lieden is a sausage. All right. This video is getting a bit long. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.